this video would reflect on the theme the identity of a brother so i dedicate this video to all the religious brothers in the church i intend to speak to you more in the coming months on various themes of religious brothers so i like to begin my series of reflection with the first one on the identity of a religious brother to begin with i have many identities in my life so the first question is what is my fundamental identity you know my dear brothers we are men of multiple identities in our life we are basically a human person the first identity i can be an indian a singaporean a malaysian a thai a french spanish italian canadian the multiple african identities etc and there are also few other identities like i am a christian i am a brother now very important question is what is my fundamental identity which identity overruns the other identities in my life or to put it another way from which identity i draw my convictions or in which identity is my faith rooted or based my life as a professed religious brother revolves around which identity now these are some of the basic questions that we need to ask now let us not worry about the other vocations in the church for now the second question i would like to ask is what are the reasons for my consecrated identity i am called by god and i have responded to the call of god i see the needs of the church there is a call of the mission and some of us have many other discernment now in vita consecrata it is said although we do not see clearly what the spirit is bringing to birth in consecrated life still we identify as sprouts of newness many elements now it is very important to discover what are they and in vita consecrata number 1 it is said the evangelical councils to which we consecrate ourselves is described as the characteristic features of jesus so my identity as a religious brother is based on the identity of jesus who was chaste poor and obedient so therefore from whom do i draw strength for my identity it is very fitting to remind all of you brothers that the synod fathers changed the phrase lay brothers to religious brothers so they have tried to place the identity of these consecrated men 
in the state of consecrated life than in any other category so we are called to be brothers and consecrated as christ for the kingdom of god and therefore we are a prophetic community in the world so our life in its entirety as brothers should be a celebration of brotherhood in christ and a proclamation of the lord's word matthew 23 8 you are all brothers now thirdly let me come to very important element let us quote from the old testament a very interesting and important passage which many people don't interpret this way we take today genesis chapter 45 45 verses 1 to 15 and the following we all know the story of joseph how he was sold by his own brothers to the egyptians and the subsequent happenings in genesis chapter 45 the story of joseph is very moving especially when he reveals his identity to his brothers when his brothers because of famine and starvation etc they all come to egypt in search of food and when they encounter joseph who by that time happens to be at a very high position and during this beautiful encounter which is very moving joseph reveals his real self to his brothers and his revelation of his real self is very relevant for our brotherhood way of life and for our identity now why why do i say this during this revelation of self the emotions run very high there is anger there is disappointment there is love there is loss there is hope there are tears there is betrayal there is meeting parting union satisfaction hunger pain joy and remorse and joseph says to his brothers come closer to me i am your brother the moment joseph declares his identity as a brother the whole scenario changes and you know what happened after that you need to read that entire chapter of genesis 45 my identity as a brother gains significance or importance when i begin to love when i begin to serve and when i begin to help and i i manifest my identity only when i recognize the other as my brother or as my sister or put in another way when i accept the other as my brother the others recognize me as their brother and only in and through service and other forms of love that is compassion kindness generosity etc people accept me as their brother so my identity as a brother cannot remain hidden for too long it has to be expressed in love and in service like joseph in the old testament and therefore my identity as a brother gains significance when the others notice the traces or qualities are elements of brotherhood in me i would like to conclude my reflections 
by passing few questions. How do I reveal my identity as a brother? Is my consecration as a brother primary identity in my life? Which are the identities that clash with my primary or original identity as a consecrated religious brother? Do others recognize my brotherhood through the quality of my love and service? How can I manifest my brotherhood as Joseph of the Old Testament? And finally, is this Josephite model of brotherhood relevant and practical in my day-to-day brotherhood way of life. Thank you and God bless.